Eugene Allen Jean Hackman, born January 30, 1930, is an American retired actor and novelist. In a career spanning five decades, Hackman has been nominated for five Academy Awards, winning two for Best Actor in the French Connection and Best Supporting Actor in Unforgiven. In addition, Hackman has won three Golden Globes and two BAFTAs. He first came to fame in 1967 with his performance as Buck Barrow in Bonnie and Clyde. His major subsequent films include The French Connection, 1971, and French Connection 2, 1975, in which he played Jimmy Popeye Doyle, The Poseidon Adventure, 1972, The Conversation, 1974, Superman, 1978, in which he played arch-villain Lex Luthor, Hoosiers, 1986, Mississippi Burning, 1988, Unforgiven, 1992, The Firm, 1993, Crimson Tide, 1995, Get Shorty, 1995, The Birdcage, 1996, Enemy of the State, 1998, Behind Enemy Lines, 2001, and The Royal Tenenbaums, 2001. Early Life Hackman was born in San Bernardino, California, the son of Anna Lida Elizabeth, Nay Gray, and Eugene Ezra Hackman. He has a brother, Richard. He has Pennsylvania Dutch, German, English, and Scottish ancestry, and his mother was born in Lambton, Ontario. According to a plaque in a city park, he worked for a time as a dog catcher for the local animal shelter. His family moved frequently, finally settling in Danville, Illinois, where they lived in the house of his English-born maternal grandmother, Beatrice. Hackman's father operated the printing press for the Commercial News, a local paper. As a young teenager Hackman was in some of the same social circles as the older Dick Van Dyke at that time. Van Dyke was friends with his older brother Richard. Hackman's parents divorced in 1943 and his father subsequently left the family. Gene lived briefly in Storm Lake, Iowa and spent his sophomore year at Storm Lake High School. At the age of 16, Hackman left home to join the United States Marine Corps, where he served four and a half years as a field radio operator. He was stationed in China, Qingdao, and later in Shanghai. When the Communist Revolution was victorious in 1949, Hackman was stationed in Hawaii and Japan. After his discharge, he moved to New York, working in several minor jobs. His mother died in 1962 as a result of a fire she accidentally set while smoking. Career 1960s In 1956, Hackman began pursuing an acting career, he joined the Pasadena Playhouse in California. It was there that he forged a friendship with another aspiring actor, Dustin Hoffman. Already seen as outsiders by their classmates, Hackman and Hoffman were later voted the least likely to succeed. Determined to prove them wrong, Hackman moved to New York City. A 2004 article in Vanity Fair described how Hackman, Hoffman and Robert Duvall were all struggling California-born actors and close friends, sharing apartments in various two-person combinations while living in New York City in the 1960s. 60s. Hackman was working as a doorman when he ran into an instructor whom he had despised at the Pasadena Playhouse. Reinforcing the least likely to succeed vote, the man had said, See, Hackman, I told you you wouldn't amount to anything. The three former roommates have since earned 19 Academy Award nominations for acting, with five wins. Hackman got various bit roles, for example on the TV series Route 66 in 1963, and began performing in several off-Broadway plays. In 1964, he had an offer to co-star in the play any Wednesday with actress Sandy Dennis. This opened the door to film work. His first role was in Lilith, with Warren Beatty in the leading role. In 1967, Hackman appeared in an episode of the television series The Invaders entitled The Spores. Another supporting role, Buck Barrow in 1967's Bonnie and Clyde, earned him an Academy Award nomination as Best Supporting Actor. In 1968, he appeared in an episode of I Spy, in the role of Hunter, in the episode Happy Birthday, Everybody. In 1968, he starred in the CBS Playhouse episode My Father and My Mother. In 1969, he played a ski coach and downhill racer and an astronaut in Marooned. Also that year, he played a member of a barnstorming skydiving team that entertained mostly at county fairs, the Gypsy Moths. He nearly accepted the role of Mike Brady for the upcoming TV series, The Brady Bunch, but was advised by his agent to decline in exchange for a more promising role, which he did. 1970s. In 1971, he was nominated for the Best Supporting Actor Academy Award again, this time for 1970s I Never Sang for My Father, working alongside Melvin Douglas and Estelle Parsons. The next year, he won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance as New York City Detective Jimmy Popeye Doyle in The French Connection, marking his graduation to leading man status. He followed this with leading roles in the disaster film The Poseidon Adventure, 1972, and Francis Ford Coppola's The Conversation, 1974, which was nominated for several Oscars. That same year, Hackman appeared in what became one of his most famous 
famous comedic roles as the blind hermit and young Frankenstein. He later appeared as one of Teddy Roosevelt's former Rough Riders in the Western Horse Race saga Bite the Bullet, 1975, as well as in that year's sequel French Connection 2. In 1975 he also appeared in the highly regarded, but little viewed, film Night Moves, receiving a BAFTA nomination for lead actor. He appeared in the star-studded war film A Bridge Too Far, 1977, as Polish General Stanislaw Sozabowski. Hackman showed a talent for both comedy and the slow burn as criminal mastermind Lex Luthor in Superman, the movie, 1978, as he would in its 1980 and 1987 sequels, 1980s. Gene is someone who is a very intuitive and instinctive actor. The brilliance of Gene Hackman is that he can look at a scene and he can cut through to what is necessary, and he does it with extraordinary economy. He's the quintessential movie actor. He's never showy ever, but he's always right on. Alan Parker director of Mississippi Burning, 1988. By the end of the 1980s, Hackman alternated between leading and supporting roles, earning another Best Actor nomination for Mississippi Burning. He had a memorable part as a Secretary of Defense trying to cover up a homicide in 1987's No Way Out opposite Kevin Costner. During this decade, Hackman also was in Reds, Under Fire, Hoosiers, Power, Uncommon Valor and Bad Asterisk 21. A 2008 American Film Institute poll voted Hoosiers the fourth greatest film of all time in the sports genre. 1990s. In 1990, the actor underwent an angioplasty, which kept him from work for a while, although he found time for Narrow Margin, a remake of The Narrow Margin, 1952. In 1992, he played the sadistic sheriff Little Bill Daggett in the Western Unforgiven directed by Clint Eastwood and written by David Webb Peoples which earned him a second Oscar, this time for Best Supporting Actor. The film won Best Picture. In 1993 he appeared in Geronimo, an American legend as Brigadier General George Crook. Hackman co-starred with Tom Cruise as a corrupt lawyer in The Firm, 1993, and appeared in a second John Grisham story in 1996 playing a convict on death row in the chamber. In 1995, Hackman played an inept Hollywood producer-director named Harry Zim in Get Shorty and the villainous fast-draw champion John Harrod in The Quick and the Dead opposite Sharon Stone, Leonardo DiCaprio and Russell Crowe, as well as submarine captain Frank Ramsey in the film Crimson Tide with Denzel Washington. In 1996, he took a comedic turn as conservative Senator Kevin Keeley in The Birdcage with Robin Williams and Nathan Lane. He also co-starred with Will Smith in the 1998 film Enemy of the State, where his character was reminiscent of the one from The Conversation. He played a president of the United States who is responsible for a killing in 1997's Absolute Power, re-teaming with director star Clint Eastwood. 2000s. Hackman starred in the David Mamet crime film Heist, as an aging professional thief of considerable skill who is forced into one final job in the comedy Heartbreakers alongside Sigourney Weaver, Ray Liotta and Jennifer Love Hewitt. He had a small part as Arnold Margolis in Gore Verbinski's The Mexican. He also had a leading role as the head of an Centric family in the ensemble cast film The Royal Tenenbaums and in yet another Grisham legal drama, Runaway Jury, at long last getting to make a picture with his longtime friend Dustin Hoffman. Hackman's final film to date was Welcome to Mooseport, 2004, a comedy with Ray Romano, in which Hackman portrayed a former president of the United States. In 2003 at the Golden Globes, Hackman was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award for his outstanding contribution to the entertainment field. Retirement from acting. On July 7, 2004, Hackman Hackman gave a rare interview to Larry King, in which Hackman announced that he had no future film projects lined up and believed his acting career was over. In 2008, while promoting his third novel, Hackman confirmed that he had retired from acting. When asked during a GQ interview in 2011 if he would ever come out of retirement to do one more film, Hackman said he might consider it if I could do it in my own house, maybe, without them disturbing anything and just one or two people. Career as a novelist. Together with undersea archaeologist Daniel Lenihan, Hackman has written written three historical fiction novels, Wake of the Perdido Star, 1999, A Sea Adventure of the 19th Century, Justice for None, 2004, A Depression-era Tale of Murder, and Escape from Andersonville, 2008, about a prison escape during the Civil War. His first solo effort, A Story of Love and Revenge set in the Old West titled Payback at Morning Peak, was released in 2011. A police thriller, Pursued, followed in 2013. In 2011, Hackman appeared on the Fox Sports radio show, The Loose Cannons, where he discussed his career in novels with Pat O'Brien, Steve Hartman, and Vic the Brick Jacobs. Personal life. Hackman's first wife was Faye Maltese. They had three children. 
Christopher Allen, Elizabeth John and Leslie Ann Hackman, the couple divorced in 1986 after three decades of marriage. In 1991, Hackman married Betsy Arakawa. They live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hackman competed in Sports Car Club of America races driving an open-wheeled Formula Ford in the late 70s. In 1983, Hackman drove a Dan Gurney Team Toyota in the 24 Hours of Daytona Endurance Race. He also won the Long Beach Grand Prix Celebrity Race. Hackman is an avid fan of the Jacksonville Jaguars and regularly attended Jaguars games as a guest of then-head coach Jack Del Rio. He is friends with Del Rio from Del Rio's playing days at the University of Southern California. Theater credits. Children from their games by Erwin Shaw at the Marasca Theater, April 1963. A Rainy Day in Newark by Howard Teichman at the Belasco Theater, October 1963. Come to the Palace of Sin by Michael Shirtliff at the Lucille Lortel Theater, 1963. Any Wednesday by Muriel Resnick at the Music Box Theater and the George Abbott Theater, 1964 to 1966. Poor Richard by Jean Kerr with Alan Bates and Shirley Knight at the Helen Hayes Theater, 1964-1965. The Natural Look by Leonora Thunna at the Long Acre Theater, 1967. Fragments in the Basement by Murray Shizgal at the Cherry Lane Theater, 1967. Death and the Maiden by Ariel Dorfman with Glenn Close and Richard Dreyfus, directed by Mike Nichols, at the Brooks Atkinson Theater, 1992. Filmography, Accolades, Works are Publications, Hackman, Jean, and Daniel Lenihan, Wake of the Perdido Star, New York, New Market Press, 1999, ISBN 978-1-557-04398-6, Hackman, Jean, and Daniel Lenihan, Justice for None, New York, Street, Martin's Press, 2004, ISBN 978-0-312-32425-4, Hackman, Jean, and Daniel Lenihan, Escape from Andersonville, a novel of the Civil War, New York, Street, Martin's Press, 2008, ISBN 978-0-312-36 3734 Hackman Jean Payback at Morning Peak, a novel of the American West, New York, Simon and Schuster Inc., 2011, ISBN 978-1-451-62356-7, Hackman, Jean, Pursuit, New York, Pocket Books, 2013, ISBN 978-1-451-62357-4, 